Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with with Israeli News Live. And uh, listen, if you happen to be watching right now, Patreon, our Patreon channel. I'll put the description. Uh, put the link in the description below. You're going to want to see a video. Now it is going to get released publicly here before too long, but it's going to air on Patreon first. There, the CIA bringing uh, to a close. A, one function of the super soldier project and you're going to find out exactly why it is part of a, a bizarre string of missing persons over decades uh, here in the United States a program that has gone completely rogue and we were able to find out the inside information and even obtained a photograph of what happened to these super soldiers that were metamorph metamorphosed into some type of strange creatures. Uh, they became killing machines and the, uh, the experiment went very, very awkwardly wrong and uh, they have allowed this to go on for decades now, all the way back since the time that Bill Clinton was governor of Arkansas. I mentioned Bill Clinton because uh, he was his wife Hillary was actually involved in this program, and uh, it, it is unbelievably just horrendous. Uh, so we've released that information over on Patreon. It's actually loading as I speak right now. But let's get into the news. What's going on? Russia. The pride, the Crimean bridge from Russia to Crimea that Putin had built there, uh, that he has warned about this being struck, uh, has come under an attack. Now, of course, the Ukrainians taken responsibility for the attack on this bridge there uh, that was uh, that was blown up. But uh, the the truth of the matter is is that I don't I don't believe for a moment that the Ukrainians did it, but it's had to have been a NATO operation because Ukrainians just do not have the, t uh, the capabilities nor the sophistication to pull this off, to slip in there, to plant these explosives, uh, of the, especially the magnitude that it would take to blow this bridge up the way it was blown up there. And of course, several people were killed uh, and um, uh, it, was, it was just a tremendous, it was a tragedy for the people there uh, that died in this, uh, but uh, as well now Russia really really upset about what has taken place uh, with this bridge being uh, coming under attack it was a major supply line for them um, they they have those since uh, this attack that has taken place uh, they have been able to uh, bring the rail car back across uh, once again let's see here uh, that is right here so there this was after the bridge was attacked for the first time the train is able to actually continue to go so that part of the track was not uh, destroyed so they'll still be able to supply uh, send supplies up through Crimea and uh, we'll just have to wait to see what happens as far as that goes there so that was the first train that actually came across now as a result of that the Chechens are now entering into the battle and uh, they are entering into the battle 70,000 fighters are coming to the front lines of Ukraine. Uh, it's not good news for NATO nor Ukraine, but it shows that Russia is not playing around. And of course, uh, Putin has kind of been put in an awkward position there because another thing that it was shared with me is that uh, uh, that Putin didn't get, uh, when they were looking at possibly using nuclear weapons, uh, that not only Russia, but the United States and other world superpowers have been warned by extraterrestrials that if anyone uses uh, these uh, nuclear weapons, that there will that their nation's ability to use a, a second weapon will come to a complete end. They would be totally shut down to where they could do nothing. And so uh, this is. Uh, something that I know a lot of people have a hard time believing, but uh, that's what they're saying. So the Chechens are entering into the battle, so it looks like it's going to become more of a, uh, a head-on uh, just ground war. And uh, But at the same time, when I was told that information, I was told too, though, that the, when it comes to the Chinese, though, we just don't know what they may do. They may could care less what ETs have to say. Um, you know, but... Um, seems to be an issue about using nuclear weapons when it comes to that. And it's not to say that Russia wouldn't end up still using them, 
but we know that the, uh, the ETs do have technology to where they can shut down your capabilities of all your nuclear arsenals. We've experienced that before here in the United States. Uh, even down to the toggle switches that could be used, they can cause those to malfunction as well to where they cannot be used. Uh, that's kind of crazy, I know, to even hear something like that, but that's the case. But Chechen fighters are known to be very aggressive fighters, and for them to be entering into this battle, uh, we'll have to just see how that ends up going there, especially with it being winter time starting to set in over in that part of the world. Um, but anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Also, uh, I thought this was kind of interesting here. I'll kind of quickly play this little clip. Uh, this was at a Trump rally where like to see it. they play this video that Trump put together of Joe Biden and his bumbles and his speech and stuff. <laughs> I think it's, I, I haven't, look. Let's get ready to bumble! I think it's a right for people that bad at kept care. Throwing it in that stuff of depression. God, I said, oh my Lord, I can't believe I said that. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. You already put in. I was going to put him in the, uh, put, well, Corn Pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. Wait, 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 wait. Now, the reason why I bring this out right here is because uh, Joe Biden, who's president of the United States right now, uh, has announced internally, and that's not gone public yet, but he has announced internally that he is planning to run for a second term. And it kind of blows me away because it's obvious that the man is suffering with dementia and that he's going to run for a second term. I just can't quite figure that one out. But I, I was told, though, and this was the people that find it quite humorous that he's running for a second term, uh, is that one thing's for sure, he will do everything it takes to make sure the economy continues and that there, there is food and with no lack of food uh, shortages because he wants to be able to win. So they said if you're worried about the economy collapsing, that's the one good news about Joe Biden claiming that he's going to run for president again in 2024. Uh, that he will do everything he can to prevent those types of disasters from happening. Uh, also, too, one other bit of news here. There is a uh, small hurricane that is uh, coming in on Honduras already right here. Uh, the weather channel in places is not really saying much about it, but I found out from the weather people, the scientists, uh, meteorologists at the Pentagon, they're very concerned about this storm. They believe it'll go up, it'll loop back in, come back into the Atlantic, will become one of the strongest hurricanes ever on record, could possibly hit Florida, cross Florida into the Atlantic, and do just like the, this last hurricane, uh, and go up and hit like around South Carolina, North Carolina, somewhere along there, and just cause dev devastating consequences. Uh, don't know if that'll actually happen or not, but that's what they're worried about. And, uh, you know, we're, we'll just have to see, will it dissipate, will it lose its strength, or will it actually come back into the Gulf and really become a massive storm? Well, like I said, remains to be seen, but I just figured I'd go ahead and share that with you because they're worried about it. Let's see how accurate they are compared to the regular meteorologists. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for your support. Our mailing address at the top of the screen, Stephen Benoon, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee. And, uh, of course, our, uh, our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. And we thank you for your support. God bless you.